Hey everybody! It's another Chelgren Chowdown video and it's morning where we are so good morning to you or if you are getting up later good afternoon good evening and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Today we have for you Frosted Flakes. We got banana cream and honey nut Frosted Flakes. Yeah, two more uh, new flavors of Frosted Flakes because the chocolate and the cinnamon ones came out a couple months back. So we haven't gotten to those yet. And fun fact, I'm aging myself here, I apologize in advance, but uh, they did have a banana flavored Frosted Flakes back in the 80s. No, I have not tried those, so I can't give you an opinion on them. But I hear they didn't do very well. So banana cream? I don't know, that could be interesting. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm more, more excited to try the banana than the honey nut. I think the honey nut's not going to be much different than regular Frosted Flakes. Yeah, or any other honey nut cereals yeah. that are on the market. Alright, so what should we try first? I don't know, I'm spilling coffee everywhere. Let's do the banana. Alright, I'll just pop that open. Excuse the coughing, we're both dying. Cold yeah, so if we sound ragged, it's because we're both getting over colds. Alright, that should be sufficient for the taste test. Alright, say when. Okay. Alright. Ooh, you can smell the bananas. Oh, yeah, yep. They look like just regular frosted flakes. Yep. But you can definitely smell the banana. So that's a good sign. I'm going to try it dry first. Oh, wow. It does taste like a banana cream pie. Mm-hmm. The banana thing got kind of a creaminess. I'm going to try it with milk. All right. There you go. Do you want a little more, or are you good? That's good. Alright. Well, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do here. They're great! Oh, God. <laughs> no, seriously, these are pretty good. Oh, my God. I mean, Frosted Flakes have always been amazing in their own right, but the banana cream always, one. Yeah, I always put, like, sliced bananas on Frosted Flakes. This just kind of eliminates the, the need to do that. <laughs> Although it would be healthier for you to put actual bananas on your cereal. But. That's true. These are a lot better than the banana Cheerios that came out a while back. That was a huge letdown. I remember those. It was it basically, your exact words were tasting like a really strong flavor of artificial banana. <laughs> Probably. So, on a 1 to 10 scale, I would give this a 9. I really like this. Let's try these honey nut ones. I suppose we gotta finish this one. Mm -hmm. Should've just done one more. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll just tuck that aside. I'll pop this open. Okay, I'll tell you right now, I'm not smelling the honey or the nut in the Frosted Flakes, just a heads up. Yeah, it's very weak. Like, you have to get right into it in order to get the honey. 
Yeah, unlike Honey Nut Cheerios, which it's there right off the bat. And this one's more more cornflakey. There's no you can't see the frostedness on it. But it's technically sweet honey nut frosting on the cherry out so. And I can't even okay, wait. Wait. It's very subtle. Yeah. It's basically the equivalent of putting regular sugar on cornflakes. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm getting to. Which, to be fair, that is the only way to eat cornflakes. <clears throat> Yeah, they're not so great. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat them, but the banana cream one. I would definitely get the banana again. Yeah, that's the, the best one. is not something I'd run out and buy again. Yeah, so it's a nine for the banana cream. And the Honey Nut Frosted Flakes, I would give a very fair six. I mean, if you just want a regular cereal, just, you know, to put something in your system for the morning, maybe go for the Honey Nut Frosted Flakes. But if you want to actually enjoy your cereal, banana cream and Frosted Flakes are the way to go. I agree. All right. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button and click on the comments below if you've tried any of these flavors or the other two flavors that came out. And like us on, subscribe to us on YouTube so you don't miss any more videos. And follow us also on Facebook and Instagram. All right. We'll see you guys next time.